I am going now to do a piece up on that side. I'm trying to see how far I could reach with this piece here and when the truck come back that will drop going up to the, the road there all right so the temperature building up so you know we had to take my time and I'll make sure I can sit down and relax a little bit when I get too tired yeah man thanks for the help Welcome to Beehive Drive. There's a couple of things you will need to notice. Beehive Drive across here, where I am, I am trying to improve this roadway going right down to the end of the property. We have a lot of water settling here, but that is not what I call it to show you. We also have here some mangoes, which is still on the tree. As you can see right there, we have a couple of mangoes dangling there still. So. Alright, so this here is the tanko bean tree. And the tanko bean flowers is opening up. There you have a bee. So the bees are, they are right now they are foraging on the tanko bean. And the thing about it is, the tanko bean need this kind of heat to actually open up. The temperature today is 31 degrees Celsius. Um, in the shade, it'll feel like 35. The wind coming in from the east, southeast, at 11 kilometers an hour. The wind gust is 11, no, well, the wind gust is 15 kilometers hour. The UV index is 13 extreme. The humidity is 70%. The cloud cover is 49%. And right here, we can see this is the kind of thing that is happening at this time of year. Um, Towards the end of August, September, we have a little period which is called Piticarem. I guess is you know the French who call it like that. PT is, is like little bit or small. Carem is musty weather. I'm not sure I don't speak French. Anyhow, this Piticarem period is like lasts for like about two weeks, and I'm using this opportunity to. See if I could get some of that stuff on the road. And uh, at the same time, I've seen this tree here blossoming so nice. Some of them now opening up. So that's where the bees going to get some of the nectar and pollen from to carry back to the, the colony, which we saw recently. So that is what's going on, man. Let me go down by the bee, by the bee yard there and see what's happening with those colonies. Yes, man. My mangoes is doing well. As soon as they ripe, I'll get them. So we are here at the bee yard now, and I guess I was just in time when I opened up number one and fourteen because it was after that. I noticed those colony start to do more work. They, they are more active at the front. As you can see, number one here is washboarding like crazy. 
So with that, with that flowers, the tanko bean flowers coming on stream there. These girls here are doing their, their dandies to get everything in. All right, all right, all right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm just making a video, all right, all you. Yeah, man. So let me look at number 14 and see if number 14 is doing this. Yeah, man, they're doing the same thing. want to fly and sting me now so let me get out of here i just doing the, this video to show you guys as soon as flowers coming out then bees on it Yeah man, wow, one of them bounce me there just now, yes? They're making jokes, they don't want you to come around at all. These, these African night bees have some kind of tendency, sometimes you just have to wonder, you know. And now that I'm here, I'm looking at the flight path, and I could see, I could see them taking flight high up with speed. They, from the from the colony here they're going up in the air with speed so they definitely want to get all of that nectar and pollen all right so here what to do i go in and take a little break um get some lunch to eat and i will come back and visit them again and you want to come back and visit me too so between now and then we'll meet up now yeah all right well later yeah man shallow to the good honey bee yard you see that the bees were totally correct when they predicted that the rain is coming i'm looking through my window here and look at that yeah man i like them bees too bad they are better weather men than we all right all right so this is what the tank of bean fruit look like but this these tanker bean is already dried so here we have it um, and what the tanker bean fruit is used for um, the pulp underneath the, the thin skin you see that was very thin skin and underneath the skin um, we peel off the skin you know with your teeth or with your fingernail and you eat that pulpy flesh but if you break open this seed, you'll get, if you break open this um, hard crust, see how it, all that is the, the little thin skin that comes off. But remember this fruit dry, so you know, it is, it's not the same way when it um, ripe and you're ready to eat it. I'll crack open one of this just now and I'll show you the seed inside, which is used for various thing if you're making a cake that is one of the ingredients that you put in the cake you, you grate a little bit and you put it in the cake or you're making some sort of fruit punch and by the way angostura aromatic bitters use this in that recipe you know that secret recipe that they have yeah they use this hold on i'm going to get a hammer so after you're giving it a couple of wax you're giving it a couple of hits with the arm the hammer there right on the seam you know when you feel through the flesh you could feel the, where the seam is you get the you get the, the seed and this is the seed that you're going to um you grate a little a very little bit of the seed because it's very very strong strong flavor and um you'll be able to get that to put in your different ingredients so what I usually do I go and collect all these seeds tanko bean seed when it fall and collect it and keep it here and when it dry like this I'll take a day and sit down and crack open all of them and I'll have it to 
share around to my various family members. You might find here looking kind of messy, but guess what? Inside here, that is the cashew seed. See what I'm talking about? Cashew seeds like that. So I'm just saving it up here. You know, so I'll have it ready when I want it. Across here, I have some dry straw, just in case. Sometimes, you know, it, it raining and all the straw get wet on the, on the banana trees. So I have all my dry straw here. I have all the, the skin from the, the Portugal, as well as the orange. I have my bomb here. Let's put all of them together. You see, when I'm making my bomb, right? I put pieces of um, cashew seeds inside here. I put a couple of cashew seeds. I put um, orange peel skin. And I put the coconut husk. And I tie it up tight with a string or wire or something. And that will fit inside the smoker. So when I'm ready for putting my bomb inside here, and when you see that light up, yeah, you want it now again. Yeah man, so that is how I'm doing my thing on this side. It's a little bit of education here, and just in case you probably don't know about these kind of things. But I do things a little bit a little bit different to some of the beekeepers, even in my country here. So I have everything in our gear. So don't forget if you happen to get tanko bean seed, that is what it looks like. After you crack it open, you add the inside and this come out from inside there. So you're saving up all of that. Well first this will, will go to make manure. Put that in your compost heap. Yeah man. So that is the case of the missing link right here from the good honey bee yard. Beautiful Caribbean island trailer. I'm Hans T. Yeah man. And it's so hot now. Like I say, let me go and get some lunch and wait until they get cool and I'll do some more stuff later. All right, later, TTFN. Oh well, we have a rainy day today. Today is the 30th of August, 2020, 11 a.m. And I wanted to go and move those inner covers. But due to the weather, it wouldn't make sense taking out these covers and exposing the bees to that different temperature. I have three of them to, to move and I cannot do it now at all. So you see sometimes you plan for a certain thing to take place and you just have to leave them alone. I just love coming here and watching these, these bees as they washboard you know the washboard in a kind of slow kind of way today because they already told me that the rain come in so now that the rain is here they are bothering no more but I could see they smell me already you know you see how one of them there the tail sticking up in the air but because of the temperature they don't want to fly see that one right there tail sticking up in the air Sometimes they don't like it to come close, you know. So I'll have to come back another time when it's not raining. I'll have to get them a, a two days or something and check them back. And due to the tanko bean that is now in flower, the bees have lightened up all the bees at the entrance some of them scrubbing some of them doing different things but they liven up because of the the weather come out so nice and hot and then now we have this rain so they're taking good advantage of when they get good weather to go and pull in all that nectar and pollen this is one of them i think i have to reduce the entrance you know 
See how they're fanning across there? I'm taking a little sneak chance to film them like this. Okie dokie. Search the good honey. Mm. 